morning, people. Welcome to build day 17. Uh, it's going on just, a, just about 9 o'clock in the morning. And we're just getting out here. And I say us because I got Kaylee with me. She wants to do her job. She's got a job she does every morning when we do the haunt after ah wonky camera angle I plug in the blow-ups we gotta move the truck and Katie likes to move the truck huh yeah she likes to have a well come on I'm gonna walk right up your tail and off to the races we go with bun bun but uh, anyway day 17 and right by the garbage can here we'll do breakfast of the day I'm going back to an old stand where I used to party a lot cold pepperoni pizza and a warm beer there's your breakfast of the day breakfast of champions haunt is still in the same shape I left it last night except we've got a few leaves and stuff I'm gonna have to blow in here I'll probably wait till after I get the corn in because the corn always makes a mess. But we got to get in here. Our first job today is these partition panels. I've got to get this fencing down I put in yesterday. And we're doing a switch. We're going to take those panels, install them here, and then install gypsy wall panels along there up to about this point so we've got that to do today that's first order of business then we've also got to get some prep work in for our power pole which is sitting back there underneath the white garbage can it is going to end up sitting here with its power cord running into my shop and I unhook all the all the stuff in the shop and hook in the power pole which runs the haunt. I'm not hooking up the uh, power pole and putting the power pole in place but I've got four extension cords I got to plug into it that I have to run along this wall and over to the power box that way when I do plug in the power pole all I gotta do is plug in the cords and they're good to go plus it's a lot easier to run those cords behind the wall panels in the mix of the house when you don't have anything up. You know, once I put skins up or the corn up or what have you, it's a pain in the butt trying to get those cords down the side of the house. So I'll do that now so they're out of the way. So we got that to do. And then we'll be into corn mode the rest of today. After I get my other project done, the rest of today, and probably a good chunk of tomorrow, if not all of tomorrow, we'll be installing corn. It takes a while to install that stuff. So we're going to be doing that. I think right now we better go move the truck because Kaylee is getting hyper. She's beating me with her tail. God, that tail does hurt when she gets to whipping it too. But anyway, let's get the show on the road. Okay, yesterday, in yesterday's vlog, I mentioned at toward the end of it, I was listing, you know, the stuff I needed to work on today. And I made the comment, you know, provided nothing else pops up, or, you know, or something along that, that effect. You know, something always tends to pop up that adds to my work. Well... When I plugged in the blow-ups this morning, due to the windstorm we had yesterday, a lot of the uh, blow-ups got snarled up in their guidelines and stuff, you know, their anchor ropes. And the Dragon was no exception. It took the worst beating out of all of them before I got them unplugged. Uh, so I've got to tighten down its guide wires. So I came over into the graveyard, to the guide uh, graveyard, uh, which is the back side of the big tent and that yellow cord there is one of the guidelines I need to kind of tighten up a little bit but I got to this point that thing hanging down is the roof to the mausoleum 
the back side of it came loose and just simply pulled off the staples. It doesn't look like the uh, tarp ripped at all. So I've got another repair job to do. Uh, I gotta get this restapled back on and the guidelines I need to fix on the dragon is that yellow one right there which is tied to that corner. I just gotta tighten it up a little bit and that should straighten the dragon up. But extra work I need to do and this is work I gotta get done now. First thing. So, we gotta get the mausoleum roof back on. Fun. Okay, mausoleum roof is back on, at least in this section. I've checked both sides. This side did pretty good. It did not blow loose. It was just this side for some reason. I do have this in here I need to fix yet. And I gotta do that from the other side, which is over in the witch. So I'll do that. I also checked my guidelines back here and we got these pretty much where they need to be but the front end of the dragon is still all kitty wampus so I'm gonna have to go out front and mess with the guidelines out there to get that fixed but I'm gonna mark this as another project done because it's only gonna take a couple of more seconds and I'm not gonna shoot you another segment showing hey look it's done so we're getting there. Uh, it's going on about noon. I've got to call it quits out here. We've got that errand to go pick up the pumpkin and the hay and stuff we got to do. I'm supposed to meet the guy at one and it's about a half hour drive down to his place. Half hour, 45 minutes. So I want to go in and get a snack and get ready to go. Uh, we've been, I worked on the dragon out there a little bit. And there's no rips, no tears in it. The zipper didn't come open. I mean, we're still having problems with the uh, head wanting to bow. You know, it's kind of buckled a little bit. The only thing I can think of is there is a power cord for the lights that runs through the dragon, you know, to light the thing up. And I'm wondering if it might, with the way it was blowing around yesterday in the gust, if it might have gotten snarled inside the dragon, which is causing it to pinch and bind. If that's the case, the only way to fix it is to open up the zipper, get inside of it, and untangle it. Problem is, the zipper is clear up by the peak of the tent, so the only way to get to it is to take the dragon down, fix it, and then try to put it back up, which is a major, major pain in the ass. So I think we're just going to kind of leave it as is and hopefully it will unsnarl itself in the next day or two. If not, we're going to have a bowing dragon this year. So we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, as to the gypsy hallway, we got the panel up. So the arbor wire is all covered. It ends here. The corn starts. So we got that taken care of as well and I've been working on the power box running it's all its uh, power lines and there's four extension cords one for the blow all the blow-ups and three for the haunt here I'm gonna put this down while I'm thinking about it a little speaker a Bluetooth speaker that way I can have some music out here or whatever I want to listen to but the uh, power lines run from there, around, and back here. And right now, I just have all the cords piled up there. Once the corn maze is done and the barrels are out of the way, I can bring the power, uh, the power pole out here, get it into place, and do what I need to do. One, clean up that wiring mess I just created. Uh, I don't know when I'll be doing the power pull. Probably not until well after the corn's done. I don't know. It depends. Uh, right now, I am going to go get a snack. And like I said, we've got to go down and get the pumpkins and stuff. I might take you with me. I might not. I don't know. It depends on if I remember to grab the camera. <laughs> That's the key. Grabbing the camera. So, uh, on to the next, oh, before we go on to the next segment, something else I was going to do and I ran out of time. 
I got a black power cord out here. I need to run it from the photo op and the power bar that controls all the blow ups out to this tent and that white tent over there. Uh, I've got my crouching kitty I need to get put up and that white tent's the uh, first tent for the pirate with the netting up. It'll be fun trying to get the kitty up there. Uh, and then the uh, other one will go for this blue tent since this is the entrance to the spider area I'm going to put up our blow up spider up there so it's hanging down over the edge into the courtyard so I figure I'd go ahead and get that done too because I know once I start the corn uh, I'll never get to them so I've got the blow ups two blow ups to do when we get home and then once we're home get those done we'll get started on corn Anyway, now, hold on to the next segment. It's either going to be me in the haunt or us down getting pumpkins. Okay, we're down at my uh, friend Travis's place. Uh, he runs uh, Nelson's Quality Produce. Can you guess what one of the types of produce he sells? <laughs> lots and lots of pumpkins. Morgan's down here with me, and I got Sue and Katie in the truck. They go back. What was it? wanted to be on camera but uh, we're down here to pick up hay a giant pumpkin around 100 to 150 pounds and a bunch of pumpkins like uh, are in that trailer but not that many I don't think we have room for them all we've got the hay loaded it needs to be pushed forward and they just went out to grab the big pumpkins so we're waiting to get everything loaded, paid for, and then we can go, 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 go. A little update, we made it down here. Well, this is what we ended up getting. We got five of the warty pumpkins, five of the orange pumpkins, five white pumpkins, and that one's about 100 pounds. That's our big one, and then our two bales of straw, or hay, actually. So we didn't do too bad. Now Sue Ann's got some stuff to uh, do your pumpkin power. Are you gonna have enough pumpkins? Yes. As she ducks away from the camera. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna go grab some lunch. Morgan wants to go to McDonald's. And I think we're gonna hit Home Depot and check out the Halloween stuff. Morgan hasn't been Halloween shopping yet. So, all Halloween related. Well, it's going on about 5.30. I've been putzing around here at home. Uh, we got all the pumpkins, including the big one out of the back in the truck. Left a straw in there. Sue Ann put a lot of the pumpkins that we got, along with some of the others, in the back. She just kind of scattered them around in here, and she'll be nitpicking them too as we bring crops and stuff out. She wants to put some more up on the, uh, up on the burlap there. Uh, I went in, we've been having trouble with the ghost standing up, especially this morning. It was really bad. Did not want to stand up. And I was thinking the guidelines I have on either side might be a little too tight, too far back. So uh, I went in and took this uh, left one out. And I was noticing I was getting hit by a lot of uh, air. And it shouldn't have been shooting air out in that location. Uh, so I got to looking and the back of the ghost in the windstorm yesterday have been rubbing against the wall and actually put in like a five inch gash in it. Basically popped the blow up. So uh, that was why I was having a lot of trouble standing up this morning. I did a redneck fix. Uh, I went and used the Gorilla Tape and put it over the uh, thing and or put it over the cut and pressed it on real good. Now she's working just like always, no problem. Now after Halloween season, we'll come in and I'll uh, get the uh, Gorilla Tape off, or we might just leave it on, I'll have Swan sew through it to uh, clog the leak permanently. Uh, past that, took it some time, but we got the uh, kitty up. And hold on, I got a kitty at the gate. I gotta deal with it, one second. Okay, gate secured. Uh, when we were out and about getting the big pumpkin, we made a couple of side trips. 
One, I took the girls out to McDonald's. They were hungry. And we, uh, Morgan, we normally, uh, one day every year, we stop by Spirit, Home Depot, and Party City. You know, look at the Halloween stuff, and Morgan enjoys going around pushing all the buttons and stuff. Well, the McDonald's we went to was right next to Home Depot. So we stopped by Home Depot. And she had fun looking at what little they had. They didn't have all that much. They were extremely picked over. Uh, they're supposed to be getting more stuff in. So, But I did pick something up. We were a little concerned this year. The uh, pirate display is so long. And it's a little longer than what we had last year. And last year, the pirate display looked sparse to me. So I went and picked up something. I found it down at Home Depot. A lot of you have seen it. It's the uh, Talking Pirates. It's still in, in their box. So, go ahead and pick that up. You just add as a filler in here. Whether I have them working or not, I don't know. I'm going to have to listen to them and see what their sayings are. I may just mute them and uh, have them you know, moving and flapping their gums. Uh, but we got the cat up. And why are you turned? I went and got the spider up too. <laughs> and he's turned. For some reason, I don't know why. He's supposed to be facing this way. I think a gust of wind hit him. But he's up there. I'm going to have to take a look at him. Get that done. And then I think, even though it's getting late, we are going to start dragging corn out. I said we were going to work on the corn hallway today. By hell, we are going to work on it. So, I got to get some corn out and the ties and stuff. But, I got to figure out what's up with the spider first. <laughs> That's priority. Well, it's 8.15. And... It was my intent. I've been working on the corn hallway. Don't really have all that much done. Gypsy hallway is right there, so I've gotten this wall done, and then this wall almost all the way done. Uh, Sue Ann came out and unloaded some corn. You're probably not seeing it, but it was a fairly decent sized pile. It was my intent to stay out here until that pile was gone, and then call it quits. And I figured it'd be about well, 9 o'clock, or a little bit before. Should be enough in that pile to go from here to about here maybe it takes a lot of corn to do this a lot of corn but it's raining <laughs> we had a little bit of a windstorm earlier uh, I shut the uh, blow ups down about 5 36 o'clock shortly after I shot the uh, last segment I do believe and I don't know. I'm tired. My back is killing me. I was up at five this morning because of my back. I think I'm going to call it quits early. So, let me get stuff picked up. And we'll do the end of the day wrap up. Okay, end of the day wrap up and it figures. It was just a passing cloud, but it lasted for a good 15 minutes. Almost 20 minutes it rained and I sat there and put corn up in the rain. Now we got a couple of scattered clouds and stars showing. I'm done. I am just so done. You know, we spent three hours today running that errand. We picked up pumpkins, picked up a giant pumpkin, picked up the hay. Uh, stopped by uh, one of my growers. Morgan wanted to do a little vegetable shopping. Uh, she picked up uh, some scallions, some bell peppers, and a mini watermelon. <laughs> And uh, she had that for dinner, actually. I diced up some zucchini and some shrimp and some herbs and put the scallions and diced up bell pepper in it. And she made her own dinner tonight. 
Uh, then we went over to McDonald's. I uh, bought the girls lunch. Even Kaylee got some lunch. She got some French fries. She likes French fries. Especially, she's the only one in the household that likes McDonald's French fries. That says something when the dog is the only one that will eat them. Uh, then we hit Home Depot. Uh, past that, we started today. Sorry, no, the hitching. We started the day with uh, repairs. Uh, the mausoleum roof blew loose in the windstorm. It's probably going to happen again between now and the uh, time we open. That's the one drawback about the uh, black plastic tarp. Landscaping cloth lets the air go through. <laughs> Black plastic tarp doesn't. And then we had some uh, repairs on a couple of blow ups. The windstorm did do some damage on those too. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? Oh, yeah. We got Mr. Spider up there and his mate, the crouching cat, installed. something else that we did too and I can't remember what the hell it was. <laughs> Sue Ann got her pumpkin pile going. Uh, other than that, the only other thing I think of was we worked on the corn hallway and didn't get very far. We got a late start on it. I was hoping to be into it, you know, by 2, 3 o'clock and it was closer to 5.36 by the time we got going on it. Uh, tomorrow on the lineup, it's corn. And it's probably all we're going to be doing tomorrow is corn. Uh, it's going to take the rest of the day to get that corn in, more than likely. Depends on how fast we move, what the weather's like, and if Sue Ann helps unload. I started out with uh, doing the corn unloading today, and between unloading it and then trying to install it, it just took forever. So I had Sue come out and asked her to do some unloading which freed me up for installing and that sped things up significantly she got a nice good pile going out of the trailer and I was just able to go over and grab an armload haul it in, put it in, go out and grab another armload uh, in the trailer when we put it in the trailer you have your base and then you have the top which is the tassel and when we put it in the trailer we'll lay a bunch in going one way in other words tassels are toward the back the tap no hold it the bases are toward the back and the tassels are toward the front and after it gets up so high we reverse it and we put the tassels toward the back and the bases toward the front if you don't it ends up instead of being a level as it goes up it ends up curving <laughs> you know it's just yeah, things you gotta do but it makes it a pain for when you're taking it out because uh, when we go to install it, they all have to be turned the same way. So you're basically sorting corn stalks. And Sue Ann was ha handling that. And she was going faster than while I was installing. So, uh, But anyway, it's just going to be corn tomorrow, guys. That's all we're going to be doing. You'll probably get a walkthrough of whatever we get done. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll get it finished tomorrow or not. I'm not counting on it, but it'd be nice if we did. Uh, once the corn hallway's done and finished, we can get started bringing all the props and decorations out and it's actually starting to bring this haunt alive or uh, moved in and lived in. Won't be alive until we put power in, but uh, we're getting there. Stay spooky. Stay toxic.